Okay, so this guy is back, and before some Sonic tuber goes through this entire trailer frame by frame to nitpick every detail because they have nothing better to do, I'm gonna go through this entire trailer frame by frame to nitpick every detail because I have nothing better to do. There was a lot of really weird stuff that I don't see enough people talking about. Of course, we got some new animations, gorgeous backgrounds, and I this guy. Bet, but baby. this guy isn't the only long-awaited fan favorite character making a return in this trailer, because Magic Springs making a comeback as well. Welcome home, Hidden Springs. Classic Sonic is also reintroducing another mechanic, the Z-axis. I know this doesn't seem that impressive and would normally mean nothing, but we see a forward-facing spring, so we might be getting some really cool branching paths that go in and out instead of just up and down. There also seems to be a lot of cubes in this game, and not just when Sonic and friends are playing Ika-chan. While the cubes don't seem too out of place within the art style of the game, of the areas we've seen, we might have a common theme for the game here. This means these stages made entirely of cubes might be more significant than we think, especially when these stages are just covered in ancient text. It's also really interesting how we see Sonic as both a normal Sonic and as a cubed Sonic here, which might mean we could see more forms than just All these cubes could mean nothing, but it'd be really funny if they are significant because they put these cubes right in the center of the title card. Speaking of the title card, if you went to this website fast enough, you got to see an early version of the title, Sonic Orion. I doubt this game is about the great hunter in Greek mythology that stepped on a scorpion, died, but was so cool the gods put him in the stars and gave him some space puppies. But I'm sure the development title of Sonic Superstars being Sonic Orion will be a great conversation to distract your racist uncle at Thanksgiving this year. But the strangest thing we've seen so far is the special stages, not because the special stages have ever been normal, but because there aren't any Chaos Emeralds. This is clearly just a Sonic token. The other one also doesn't have Chaos Emeralds, so it's very likely both of these are just bonus stages to unlock extra content or give you bonus items rather than get chaos emeralds. From what I can tell, the first one, you sonic boom yourself from orb to orb, avoiding bombs to chase after the coin. The other one seems to take after the first special zone, but now four of you can hate it instead of just one. The background is probably the most interesting part, as it doesn't seem to be an overhead map of the course and is actually a different layout entirely, which means we could probably move from plane to plane as we play the stage, because the only thing better than one special stage like this is multiple in a row. But props on Sonic Team for changing the goal balls into a death portal. That was a nice touch. But speaking of death portals, I saved the best for last. We only see it for a couple frames, and the easy answer would be it's the entrance to a special stage. But this isn't hidden at all. As someone who loved leaving my siblings in the dust and playing New Super Mario Bros. Wii, I'd guess this is actually how players that get knocked out will respawn. There's definitely loads of other stuff too, like Sonic's Wet and Wild and Wii Fit Trainer Final Smash Chaos Emerald abilities, this thing, or how maybe you can sabotage each other. But you can really tell, especially with the inclusion of this guy, the game is taking inspiration from a lot of the 8-bit classic titles too, instead of just Sonic 1, 2, and 3. And while some fans like to pretend these games never existed, they all play a huge role in Sonic's history, so if you don't want to get left behind, here's a video to catch you up on one of my favorites.